Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi friends, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Today we're going to be writing sentences. If you haven't already watched the video Parts of a Sentence by Jack Hartman, pause this video now and go into the description of the video to click on a link to the Jack Hartman video. Okay, let's review the parts of a sentence. Maybe Ella can help us. Hello! Hi Ella, how are you? I'm doing good, Mr. Woods. Well, I'm glad that she's here to help us. So let's take a look here. Okay. Alright, so we have, up here it says sentences start with a, what do they start with, Ella? What did you tell us, Ella? How about a capital letter? Whoa! That's really great, Ella. Let's write that down. So sentences start with a capital letter. See that? They start with a capital letter. See how I used a capital to start that as well? So, Ella, yes, how do we end a sentence? Oh, that's a good question, Mr. Woods. What do you think, boys and girls? So, Ella, yes, how do we end a sentence? Hmm, how about a period? I think she's right. What do you think, boys and girls? Let's take a look here. So, sentences end with a... Period. See how I wrote sentences end with a period. What does a period look like? It's a dot at the end of your sentence. That, that's what makes a sentence end. So, Ella. Hello. What do we do next? Well, you're going to explain what to do with the activity sheet. Oh! Yeah, I'm going to explain what we need to do with activity sheet. Let's do it! Hi, boys and girls. Let's ask Ella what we need to do next. Hello! Hi, Ella. Hello! So what do we need to do next? Well, let's pay attention to Mr. Woods. He's going to give you directions on what you need to do with your activity sheet. But wait. Yes? This activity sheet looks a little bit different. What's up with it? You made it bigger so that you can see it easier on the video. Oh, that's right. Well, let's take a look here. So I have this activity sheet, and we have words with a circle underneath each one. So I have I, like, the, and then I have C and flamingo. And what is this over here? How do you end a sentence? With a period. Yes. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to draw a line from a beginning word, and a beginning word starts with a, yes, that's correct, a capital letter. So this is the only word that has a capital letter, which is the word I, or it's just a letter, uppercase letter I. So let's start this out. I'm going to start with I, like, the, Flamingo, and how do we end it again? Correct, with a period. See how I connected each word from dot to dot. So I'm connecting the dots from each word all the way to the end of the period. So let's write this sentence. Let's get some tips for how to write this sentence from Ella. So Ella, yes, Mr. Woods, how do we write this sentence? You start with a capital letter. What? I start with a capital letter? Yes, you do. Okay. What do I do between words? Oh, you use a finger space. Should I show them how to use a finger space? Yes. 
All right, let's do that. So I'm going to write down the first letter, which is a capital letter, I. And I'm going to use my free hand to make the finger space. And then I'm going to write like. Finger space, the. Finger space. But wait, do I have enough room to write the word flamingo? Mm, probably not. So I'm going to go to the next line down and write flamingo. Notice how my lowercase f and l are sky letters and they go all the way to the top line. And then I have these other letters, they're just going along and then all of a sudden I I put the dot above the line, and the G, I call that a ground letter. And that's where its tail goes underneath. But wait, what is missing? What do you think, Ella? Oh, let me take a look. I know, I know. What do you know? I know what's missing. Oh, you want to share with everybody? What do you think, boys and girls? I think you should. Okay. The period is missing. Oh, yeah! How do we end a sentence? With a period. Let's take care of that. Now we have a complete sentence. It starts with a capital letter and it ends with a period. The words are spaced appropriately. Remember, if they're too compact, it's hard to tell when one word starts and another one ends. If they're too far apart, I might get lost, but when it's just right, it's easy to read. Now, boys and girls, it's your turn to practice. Pull out your activity sheet and start practicing. You'll have two sentences to write. Or, if you don't have it right now, download it, go to the description in the video, and click on the link for the activity sheet, and then print it out. And you can have, there's several others there that you can have a bunch of practice. Keep practicing, and remember, to be a person that writes, what do you need to be? A person that writes, right? Right!